Affiliate marketing what sells and what doesn't. Sometimes these statistics are things that you can find through the marketplace tools on affiliate lead sites. Not always, though, and some sites are better at it than others, so you need to look at the proven factors that are more likely to result in sales. The trick to this is really in knowing a bit about the psychology of buyers, and then using that to guide your efforts at SEO and marketing, but more on that later. First off understand that there are basically only two types of buyers of interest to you, they are, buyers who are researching products, and buyers who need a product, or feel they need a product, because they need a solution to a problem, or think buying solves a problem, sometimes the problem is simple want, are there other types of traffic generators out there? Sure. But most of them are not buyers who are ready or nearly ready to buy. So that kind of traffic is essentially fluff. It looks good on your site meter, but it doesn't make you money. So it's not worth your time and effort. This is where keyword research really comes into play. Effective keyword research will target those buyers ready to buy, rather than those just looking around. We'll break that down in later chapters. It may seem as though we've gotten a bit away from the issue of niche selection. Really, though, it's all intertwined. To choose your niche, since you're not choosing on interest alone, you will need to know how to choose the niches that can perform. You need to know how to spot the moneymakers, using your market tools. Now that you know your niche, we can start setting up your business. We can go on to formulating a game plan and carving out your piece of the market action. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.